hi there everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today we are returning to a champion that we haven't done in a while, but it's like one of our channel's favorites for sure. Uh, but before we do, we go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, so we love you very much for it. And the link will be down below. Today we are going over Blue Steel. Uh, our champion, of course, is Mateo, the Silver King. Uh, instead, so what he does, instead of drawing for your turn, you may discard a card. If you do start your deck for a Silver General and, and unit and add it to your hand, and then you can pay one, place a Silver General unit from your discard zone on the bottom of your deck and draw a card. So he just loops around and he's just super amazing. And you'll see why for sure. And he's Shredder. And he's, like, yeah, yeah. From our other deck, he's Super Shredder. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're both Ninja Turtles fans, and I mean, it's it's Shredder. Like, it's str just straight you up. have to play him. Exactly. And he's a king and a leader, you know, it all works yeah. out. But by his side is Tux, the Emperor's Spirit. So when a unit you control destroys a tower, you may draw a card, then discard a card. Simple as that. And then you can Soul Burst, pay three, stun all units your opponent controls, which is ridiculous. So a stun card cannot attack, block, or use activated abilities until the end of the turn. So that means you basically be like, oh, I need to win this turn. You can't do anything. Thanks. And that's it. Tux is pretty silly. He does a lot for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, the first guy we got of the deck is the Silver King's Pawn. It is one for a 500. <clears throat> you may have any number of copies of this card in your deck. And you can, ex you can exhaust two silver army units you control at two at target Ar RJ unit from your discards onto your hand. So, so he's yeah. just... There's lots of them to help you get going. And then you just recur the one that you need. Yep. The fact that you can discard silver generals and then put it back in your hand, it's just a lot of value. Right and he there. gets any Argent unit. It doesn't have to be a silver general, which is pretty nice. Yes. Uh, one of the new cards uh, is called Silver King's Overseer. It's a two drop 1,000. So but it has a run. Search your deck up to, to up to one Silver King's Pawn and put it into play. But if your champion is Mateo, which it is, of course, put two into play instead. So you can immediately, for two mana, uh, when it dies, you go get two of those pawns, and then you can go get this back, or just anything else from the discard Yeah, zone. this dude's really strong, just because he, he can kill a tower. He can kill almost... He can kill three of the towers easily. Yeah, yeah. And you go get more value. Bet. Yep. Next is the Silver King's Inquisitor. It is two for a 1,000 with target attack. Arrive, put target silver army unit from your discard zone into play. So he just gives you free low silver pawns back, or silver kings or overseers. Yeah, or even overseer. Yeah, exactly. So it's pretty good. And good luck, kid. Yeah. He has target attack, so. Ella, Corrupted by Love. It's a three drop 2,000. Uh, she is also a silver general. Uh, discard a silver general unit from your hand. Target unit or augment loses all abilities as long as you control this card. So whenever this card is discarded, you may pay one. If you do, uh, target unit or augment loses all abilities this turn. So it basically does the same thing, but, you know, you can do choose whenever you want to do Yeah. Next is the Shard Spider. It is my worst hated Archie card. <laughs> right. minus, oh, this oh, card stresses me out. It's real good though. It's three mana for 1500. Um, if you if you have more destroyed towers than your opponent and they have more units than you, this card costs three less to play. So free. it's free. Arrive. Exhaust target unit in opponent controls. If it does, it does not recover during its opponent's next charge phase. Yeah. That's what makes this card so busted. Is it's free low and it can tap down a dude twice. Yep. And that's kind of ridiculous because it comes into play and you're like, cool, tap that dude down. Now I can either kill it if I need to or just let it sit there. And yeah. like, I can't use Guardian. If you bounce this stupid spider or get it back any number of ways, it just gets so frustrating because you're like, oh, no, you're yeah. one way out. You don't get it. We, we slowly started to learn that any three drop that makes a dude not attack twice or is visible, <laughs> yeah. like, like the good doggo. This is good old spider. <laughs> yeah, good spider is good. Oh, yeah. Next one is a Liam Corrupted by Madness. It's a four drop 2,500. It's Silver General, unblockable. And when this card attacks, you may discard a Silver General unit from your hand. If you do, search your deck for up to two Silver Army units and put it all put them into play. So that's fun. When this card is discarded, you may pay two. If you do, search your deck for a Silver Army unit and put it into play. So more importantly, better to play him and then swing. And then of course he triggers the other generals if you wanted to discard them to do that. So really good but if he is discarded early you can go get the one that gives you two free dudes yeah you're just like cool i'm do this is fun uh next up is nori the first warlock he is four for 2500 as additional cost to play this card you may pay x arrive if you paid this card's additional cost draw x cards whenever you play a water spell you may exhaust target unit yes 
So he's there to help you draw cards mostly. If you get his ability, cool, but most of the time you're gonna just draw cards. Yeah, exactly, and just late game, it just works so well. All right, we have good old Battle of Angel of Domin what, Domination. So it's a five drop, 2,500. Uh, arrive, you may reveal Argent unit from your hand if you do destroy target unit, and you will have one. So bye-bye anything that's on the field. Yeah, no, this, this card with this deck is insane because everything is Argent mostly, and you're going to search up your dudes while with your ruler or with your champion, so like you get to not care. There are you're already gonna have to reveal that you're showing it, so you might as well just be like, hey, cool, kill your dude. Yeah, exactly. Uh, next is Rain, corrupted by grief. It is five for a 2,500 with quickness. Discard a silver general unit from your hand. Expel target unit and opponent controls, and this card until the end of turn. If this card is discarded, you may pay three. If you do expel target unit until the end of turn, so he just comes into play and swings and. Removes dudes. Yeah, get out of my game. So you can discard any several silver general unit, and then so if they they have a big dude that's swinging, you'll be like, no, don't. We both exile, and then we'll come back, and then it'll be all good. Yeah. And then of course the next is Twilight Knight. It's a three thousand six drop. It's a legendary knight. Uh, so it has destroyer. So whenever it attacks, it attacks two towers instead. Arrive. Destroy target unit with Guardian, and if you do, this card gains quickness. So, insane value, pretty much. Yeah, Twilight Knight's awesome. Especially late game, because that's when uh, the White Tower is destroyed, and you're like, alright, kill that Guardian, I, I win. Yeah. Next is Mattel, the Celestial of Rune. He is 8 mana for a 6,000. This card costs 1 less to play for each Silver Army and or Silver General unit you control. If your champion is Mattel in its name, this card gains the following abilities. Sacrifice a unit, it gains immor Immortal. Sacrifice two of the units, destroy target shard and target unit. Sacrifice three of the units, destroy up to two target towers. Oof. Yeah, this dude gets kind of out of hand really quickly if he's in play. Yeah. But he just, he, he pretty good. You know, this is when he becomes super, super shredder. Yeah. Yeah. Except that he's going to destroy all your, all your stuff. He just shreds everything. Doesn't yeah. care who's it is. Yeah. No, yeah, not one bit. Of course, we get to the spells and we have to have all the traditional blue spells, right? The first one is Phantasmal Guards. It's a one drop and puts two illusion tokens uh, with 500 and they have Guardian, and, but they can't attack. That's okay, it doesn't matter. Next is Ancient Serpent's Breath, which is one mana to cast spell. As an initial cost to play this card, you may pay Shard Drain one if you do return target unit to the top of its owner's deck. Return target unit with total cost two or less to its owner's hand than if the owner draws a card. So you bounce dudes and you draw cards. It's really that easy and that's what it's for. Yep. Next one is Omega Magic Mizu. It's two drop insta cast. Uh, choose one or two if you have two or less towers. Uh, draw a card, exhaust target unit, and return target unit to its owner's hand if exhausted. And as always, it goes top down, so you can tap a dude and bounce that dude in the same spell. So yeah. you don't have to worry about that. It's super nice. That card, this card actually saves your life more than you think just because you're like, tap that dude, bounce that dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, of course, well, we don't have sideboard, but or we do have honorable mentions, and we have the other Silver General in here. Uh, while we played it, we realized it's kind of not that good most of the time, so that's why if you need it, her later on for a different type of matchup, then she's there. But it's Me You Corrupted by Power, 6 drop, 3500. Arrive, you may discard a Silver General unit from your hand. If you do, return target unit on top of its owner's deck. And then whenever this card is discarded, you may pay for if you do return target unit on top of its deck. It's just kind of uh, shard intensive, pretty much. Yeah. She's really good. I, I really like her a lot, actually. Yeah. All right, we got shards for the deck, and the first one we have is the Spear Ruby. It is a legendary shard that you really use because it's just it's that good. Yeah. You exhaust, you pay, you get one, or you arrive, or you can exhaust it to flip your spirit face down, destroy target unit. Like, that's the main point of it is to be able to kill a dude when you need to. Yeah, just whenever you need to. And the next, uh, the other special shard is Cryptic Crystal. Because we're playing blue, so it has arrived. Look at the top two cards of your deck and put them back into any order. So as simple as that. Yeah, and then otherwise we're just using Argent shards because you need just the basic shards. Yep. Oh, uh, what that? Uh, that is uh, the deck blue still. Hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island, and you have a good day. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel, and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Uh, thank you, Dwayne Higgs. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.